Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Now tonight what I want to do is show you what you get in the box with this Starship Captains, a non-licensed commanding a starship and using various different ensigns and crew members to complete tasks and repair your ship, um, a... a theme that will be very familiar to most sci-fi fans. This one is from Czech Games Edition, who I do have to thank for letting us take a review copy from home from Origins Game Fair. I have been so excited about this game since it was announced. It looks really cool, and it has a really cool um, FIFO system, I guess we'll call it. First in, first out system for which crew members you can use to take various actions. There's different factions you're trying to keep happy. There's uh, droids that are, are, have been ancient things. There's pirates you're going to have to deal with. This game just looks great. Um, this is is not a bridge simulator. Now, there are games out there that try to do a bridge simulator. This is more of a whole ship simulator where you are managing all of your crew trying to fly around the galaxy and complete missions. Again, this is from Check Games Edition. I have not played this game. I have watched a demo. Unfortunately, I didn't get a demo. It was too busy. You couldn't get to the table. So many people wanted to try this game at Origins. So instead, I convinced them, let us take a copy home. So first step is going to be cracking the shrink. Um, note, this is not a how to play in any way, shape or form. So thank you for joining me. Let's crack open a copy of Starship Captains. All right, here you have my copy of Starship Captains with the shrink off. I got to say striking cover. I do dig that. And the three colors here should be familiar to most people. Um, ooh. So one of the things you will know right now, the box does not set closed, but that is because there are punch boards in here. And once we remove the punch boards, it will sort shut, which I appreciate that actually. So here's the various sides of the box. Oh, it sounds horrible. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. And the back of the box showing off the game. And I think this does a great job of kind of giving you an overall look at what you're going to see inside. But we're about to crack this open, so we're not going to bother spending too much time there. Man, is that punch boards? Something sliding around all over the place. All right, here it is. We're going to boldly go inside this box. All right, first up. Oh, it was miniatures and cards sliding all over. There's no box insert. That's why there's not even like a, a divider. So first we just have some ads for CGE stuff. All excellent games. I have not played that one. Played all the rest. Love them. Zolkin's one of my favorite games of all time. Arnak. Oh, fantastic game. All right, rule book, nice introduction. I love the size of that text, that font. That's nice. We're going to flip through quick. Oh, man. Sorry. You see, like, a component overlay like this? Aren't you just like, oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Look at that. That's beautiful. All this setup, too. All right, I am, I'm loving CGE right now. Oh, look at how spaced out the text is, how clear everything. This is a fantastic-looking rule book. I won't be able to tell you how well it teaches the game, but like just the way everything's laid out, showing the boards, there's tons of graphics, icons are very clear. Man, I, I am digging this. Pirates! Tech, of course, you got to upgrade your ship, new missions, completing missions, your various crew. So you've got ensigns of different types. So you've got uh, red ensigns, yellow ensigns, and blue ensigns. They don't actually give them names. So it's not like it's command and security and science, though that's kind of what I feel those colors represent. And then there's androids, which I guess are like an ancient race that used to rule the galaxy. You each get your own ship, and then there's different factions. There's three different factions in the in the core game. Seem like the kind of thing that if they put it in an expansion, there'd be more factions. Um, the epilogue. Okay, so, oh, I don't even know what this is. Look up your score to find out your epilogue. That's kind of cool. End of the game, and then solo rules. I and nowadays this is a, almost a required component in board games, and I I kind of love it. I am not a solo gamer. Thankfully, there's lots of local gamers for me to play with. My family plays games, but I appreciate the fact you get solo games. And then the rule summary. I would have preferred that here. Okay, but they did an icon summary. Fair enough. Um, I would have preferred if this was a separate sheet with this on one side, this on the other. But other than that, this is a fantastic looking book. Um, I. Knowing CG, I'm sure it teaches the game just as well as it presents. But man, that is one of the nicest looking laid out rule books I've seen in a long time. All right, what do we got? Stuff. Lots of stuff. What are we going to start with? All right. Really simple. Tech board. Two-sided. 
should be more of those, one for each player. No, oh, here's the big tech board that people are going to buy from the market. So this is where your market goes. This looks odd, but I know you make little 3D ships. Uh, another thing I do have to call out that's nice because um, there were cognizant of color blindness issues, especially red, green, and went with non-standard colors. Um, you're going to see more and more of the, the bright green fuchsia aquamarine orange color sets in games which is a nice progression. Um, looks like we got a bit of a point salad going on because they included a score sheet. Anytime you see a score sheet, oh, nice, double-sided. Another bonus, double-sided score sheets. Why not make them two-sided? Um, sorry, I'm kind of going all over the place, but if you can see the box here, it's just like a pile of stuff, so I'm not sure where to start. Nice, thick card. Nice, thick card summary. You know that thing I said in, in the book that I said it should be on a separate sheet? Well, here it is. Wow, CG is just like knocking it over park here. Awesome. I, I'm impressed. Is there something? If there should be money in the bottom of the bot. No. <laughs> like if I keep calling them out. All right. Let's get some ensigns out here with upgrade rings. This is, oh, these are nice. I, I expected something rubbery. They're very solid plastic. Um, Unfortunately, my camera doesn't like, like, like focusing. So you, here you have your yellow ensigns. And then what this is, is an upgrade ring. So when you upgrade the ensign, you just put a ring on. I guess you couldn't really put pips on. You wouldn't be able to see them. So yellow ensigns. And then there's also gray ensigns in this box. Quite a few of each. I'm not going to pull all of those out, though I'm probably going to want one in a bit to um, show off kind of how the tracker works. Uh, then we have the red and blue ensigns, but also the androids. And it's worth noting the androids base is different. And I'll try to point out why. See, there you go. Check out. The Android. I thought they were cool looking. Slightly different shaped face. There. Blue Ensign. Pretty sweet looking pieces, actually. Nice. Those could have been wooden meeple. Game still would have worked. It's a nice touch. Player boards. Which. Oh, you have to assemble them. Okay. I just assumed the game came with dual air boards. But instead, you have to, they're like folded. That's, here's a good idea. All right, I gotta, I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed. So instead of, oh, they're, I think they're telling you to glue it. That is brilliant. So instead of the problem you have with a lot of these games, by the time they show up to you, the boards are warped, they, they have you folded over instead. So what I'm gonna do here is I just wanna punch out this middle piece. So there, you can kind of see how the dual layer board works there which is awesome. And then what you're going to do is you put your dies on here and they go down this track to show who's ready, right? Like that's the cool mechanic in this game is this. And the one part I thought was really neat was uh, the androids, which are super huge and count as any resource can be sent on a mission, which is, this is your, your port to go out. Look, they can't fit down the track because androids once they're used are removed, which I just thought that was really brilliant. That is what in the auto industry we call a pokey oak. It's a type of error proofing that I thought was brilliant to see in a board game. So I love to see more of that. Now, again, this isn't a teach. I'm not going to tell you how to use all this stuff, but there's also various resources. I'm just going to kind of slide this back on top. Now, of course, you're going to get this in various colors for the various players. We'll get to cards in a moment. Look at all this stuff still. Whatever stuff's punching itself. I'm just going to try to get the ships out. Um, so there's various sector things that are going to get put out on the map. Numbered to tell you what missions. I like how they kind of like slipped in a few tokens on each of these ships. So there's some more tokens there. So there's all your different ships. Then you have your faction boards. That are these that you're going to track your influence with the various factions in the game. So there are three of those. These are the pirates. Uh, this is you which I can't remember. You're not the Federation. You're something else. And this is the androids. Then some various tokens. These are the pirate ships you can fight. Again, I'm not teaching the game, but it shows the various pirates that will go out on the map. And as I mentioned, there should have been more of these boards. Well, here they are. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. Sorry, I am not doing a very organized presentation of this. I think these are nacelles for the ships that when you build them that have fallen out here. And here's the board. So what I'm going to do for the board is this. Look, it's me again. 
because this is a pretty big board, uh, but not huge. So there you go. There's a board. This is for how many players? It's it's based on the number of player count. I'm not sure which side is which, but here you go. Here is your board, which looks pretty bare, but you're going to put a bunch of tokens out on here and cards. Each of those exclamation parts is going to get a mission. Or So there you have the main components. I'm just repackaging stuff here, but this, what a great way to do dual air boards. It's literally folded. You fold your ship together. That is awesome. I, that's so smart. Okay, we're going to get all of this out of the way and I make sure I don't lose any of these little nacelle pieces. So these are your mission cards that are going to go out and these are your upgrade cards in general. There may be a little bit more to it, which I'll find out in a second, but first I got to cut the shrink. So here we have the Hobbit size cards. We've got a few of those. Yeah, I, I have not played this game. This one, I'm not sure what those are. Might be for solo play. I have no clue. These, I have no idea either. Oh, these are the objectives. Okay, so these these are the things that um you would go to those faction boards. So I kind of know what those are. Um, There's a bunch of these in different colors. So yeah, these are the different pi pirate ones that would go on the faction board. The one for the um, robots never changes. It's always the same. And this is the one for the... um. Not the Federation. Then we have tech cards. So green are our Omega techs. These are all end game scoring. So if you get these, you're going to have various scoring. I like that each has unique art. That's that's a bonus. And it's nice, cool looking art too. And then we have alpha and beta techs. So the only thing the alpha and beta do is if you draw any betas at the start of the game, you put them on the bottom of the deck, but then they can come up. So you just mix them all in. And it's kind of neat. There's, again, this isn't a teach, but there's a whole system where if you pair up techs and their symbols match, you get stuff like this would let you repair your ship. Again, not a teach. I'm not going to get into it. I, the art's really cool. I dig it. The navigator suit. So a whole kinds of tech cards. Ways to upgrade your ship. What I didn't spot, I'm sure they're in there, are damage counters. There should have been a whole ton of damage counters. They were probably on one of the punch boards. All right, there's our Hobbit size cards. The only thing I don't recognize are these from the bit of research I did before going live. Then we're going to get into mission cards, the stuff that's going to fill up that fairly sparse game board. I love the art. Escort the ambassadors, trade negotiations, arena battle. So all kinds of mission cards. Again, not a teach. This is showing your, what you're going to get if you use a blue person or a red person to complete this mission. It's basically how it works. It's a whole ton of them. A lot of missions. It's going to add a lot of replayability. Victory points they're worth at the end of the game and so on. All right. Look at them all. Oh, I don't know what that is. Restore the hive mind. There's definitely callbacks to various sci-fi franchises. Frenches that I'm sure you love. At least I do love them. Okay, what do we have here? I have no idea what these are. Oh, again, I think that's the solo symbol. Okay, looks like I, I uh, there's, yes, I, again, callbacks to other sci-fi series. Cool. No clue. Haven't played. Looking forward to it, though. There you go. Everything get in the box. Now I'm going to repackage everything. All right. Um, way more than I thought was going to be in that box. Um, Starship Captains. CD. Check Games Edition. Starship Captains. Just took a look at what you get inside the box for this game. Awesome looking plastic crew members and the ships. The, the biggest surprise, and I got to say one of the most brilliant things I've seen with dual layer player boards so far to date, is the fact the ships are, are attached. It's a folded and you fold them together to create your dual layer boards. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to glue them or not, but even if you don't like that's just brilliant because as we've seen in many other unboxings I've recorded dual layer boards, when they're put together by the manufacturer and shipped out to you often warp, um, due to, I don't know, heat differences or the glue settling or something, this eliminates that. And that's brilliant. I I'm extremely impressed. Other things I loved about this is that rule book looks absolutely beautiful as, as one of the best looking board game rule books I've ever seen. Component quality here looks great. The art looks great. And I got to say, the theme is awesome. This is 
um, uh, the star something in a box. You get to command your own starship, and this is not a uh, bridge simulator like other games in this genre uh, that are trying to recreate certain sci-fi series. Instead, this is a control your whole ship, fly your ship around, and manage your crew. It's, I, I guess, a captain simulator. Oh, wait, it's called Starship Captains. Yes, see? Makes sense. All right, there you have my unboxing of Starship Captains from Czech Games Edition. Really looking forward to checking this game out. Now, when I do sit down and finally start playing this game, I will be sharing my thoughts and images and pictures. Lots of pictures. I like to take pictures while I'm playing games. I'll be sharing those on social media, you know, the grams and uh, X, if it's still around by the time I finish recording this. It might have blown up while I was recording. I don't know. Place isn't doing good. Uh, Facebook, me, we. Um, now on Blue Sky. If anyone wants a Blue Sky invite, let me know. Um, I'll be sharing it there. Then I'll be doing up a formal review. Eventually we'll probably play this four or five times with a couple different groups of players to get it down. I will probably try the solo rules just to see how well they work. And then I'll share my thoughts on the tabletop bellhop blog and the tabletop bellhop podcast, which you can find on your podcatcher of choice. Just search tabletop bellhop podcast. You'll find it. it's the tabletop bellhop gaming podcast. Uh, thank you very much for joining me for this unboxing video. Um, if you played this game, if you have any tips for the first time you play it, please leave a comment below. I would love some tips before I get to the, to the table. Thank you for joining me. Good day and game on.